All right guys, today I'm going to show you some Tatoshi, ShintarHigashi.com Tayo video is coming soon. We already have a Uchimata, Tomonage, all those guys, check it out. ShintarHigashi.com Okay, Tatoshi! Let's look at right versus right first, okay? Right versus right. The goal of Tayatoshi is to have the other person on that one leg and I'm attacking that leg, okay? Tayatoshi means body drop. It's a hand technique, right? The hand do the technique. Look, I draw him forward. I pivot and notice I'm on the side of my opponent's body here, okay? From this position, you see how our toes are on the same line? I'm gonna shoot this leg across and then the calf is gonna go, gonna go on the shin. This is the position that I wanna be in. So now when I extend my leg backwards, it locks his knee out and then I can rotate him over my leg, okay? And now I'm in this position. You see my heel and toe are on the same line. That's the position that I want, okay? Foot placement is extremely important in Tatoshi, okay? So this is a classic right side versus right side Tatoshi. The way I like to do this, it's very difficult to go in if he's controlling his arm, okay? So I may release here, okay? So now, there's not a lot of resistance here. Pivot, and I like to wedge my arm underneath the armpit here, okay? If you turn around here. I have this elbow wedge underneath and I create this frame. So now, when his weight is in the front of me here, he can't really resist back in this way. I have a nice strong wrist, okay? So from here, I shoot this calf across, and now I'm in great top position. If you were to step away here for a second, just like step away. Look, I'm in good athletic stance where I could maximally torque my opponent to the ground uh, in a very strong way. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, so that's right versus right tile. You could also do like a Kosoto first, pivot, and then go Tatoshi. But a lot of the times you see more tile in a right side, left side setting, okay? Because now if he's lefty, he's on the outside position, I have the sleeve, right? My tayo is a lot shorter, as opposed to if he's righty righty, I have to turn all the way, okay? So from this position, I could do two different types of tatoshis to shift his weight onto this leg. I could win hand position, step, and bump this leg out of the way. See, I'm bumping my hip out of the way here, right? So if you circle around this way, all the way here, I step on the same line here from dominant position. Notice the elbow wedge. Look, I use my butt to bump this hip, and then I hit the pie. Okay, so it brings my opponent off the lead leg. And then look, I can take him over and then finish my Tatoshi in this fashion. Or I could drive him forward onto this leg, okay? Maybe I do like a little short to side or pull him in this direction and get a reaction back and then I'm driving my opponent's weight into that far leg by using my hand on the chin, okay? Push pull, you see now there's a little bit of tension here and I drive him, so the weight goes on to that front leg, and then look, I go foot to foot, step across, and then finish my tile. Okay, so now you got three different types of tile there that you could kind of try. Obviously, there's lots of other ways. You could also go Ouchi. Look, if I go Ouchi, right, and he steps away, look, all that weight's on that front leg. Open here, okay, and then shoot my calf on chin. This foot placement is extremely important, okay? But the hand position, even more important. Because if Eugene's behind me and I shoot this leg across, okay, you see how there's no off balance, right? All the weight is behind me here. And if this weight comes down into this leg, my ankle and my knee, that's gonna blow my ankle or my knee, okay? So I definitely don't want that. So as I'm doing this, I wanna make sure Eugene's weight is in front, okay? Front in this direction. And then I shoot my body across and underneath so a lot of the weight is in front of me, and there's not a lot of time where the weight is directly over my knee. Okay, his weight's going forward, I bring my knee back and lock it at the same time, and then I spin him over that leg, okay? That's sort of the key for the Tatoshi. Being very precise with your ankle and your foot placement, right? And then going fast, so the foot, the knee, never actually takes this downward pressure, right? and the gravity is never hurting your knee. All right, gravity can hurt your knee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's uh, Tatoshi for you, shintarihigashi.com. Thank you, Greg, for filming, and thank you, Eugene, for being here. It was it's kind of a long one, right, for YouTube.